And it is uh, it is that time. It's April uh, 2021 Marvel solicitations. Let's see what the House of Ideas has up their sleeve. We've seen a bunch of announcements around a clone saga. We're definitely getting a uh, little hints of that this month. We know there's a rebirth event ish coming in early summer. We just heard that Heroes Were Born is coming. So lots, lots of uh, lots of ideas from Marvel. So let's see what they've got. Kind of a weird out of order. So here's Avengers 45, and this is a King in Black tie-in issue. King in Black is is ending or kind of over-ish in this. This is all about Blade, uh, because when you think of Avengers, you think about Blade fighting uh, Venom. That is uh, that is what you got. So um, the uh, this is like I think a one issue tie-in to King in Black is basically going on here. And here we have Venom 200, which is undoubtedly our big issue of the month. This one's the one that's going to sell the highest. It's got, uh, well, it's got some variant covers there. <laughs> and this is not counting the uh, retailer um, exclusive covers for sure. The final chapter in the book of Venom. This is it. The 200th issue, nothing will be the same. Donny Cates saying he will not be writing Venom after this, which is extremely dodgy wording. Um, so I, I think we're definitely getting a new status quo for the character, um, whether it's a name change or there's some, some things will be different. Donny Cates, Ryan Stegman, uh, a who's who of artists, uh, are on this. So we don't know who those, who are the artists. It's a, it's who's who of who. Um, but what remains of lethal protector venom? We will find out. Got a couple of variant covers here. There's, there's one. And, uh, oh, oh, well, there, there we go. He's got a sword. I mean, he's a king of the symbiotes now. Uh, we don't know. The Marvels, number one. This was a comic that was uh, was uh, solicited a long time ago and kind of disappeared. It was on my list of likely to appear, so it's finally coming back out again. Kurt Bujiak, Yardley Sinar. Um, this is um, the biggest, wildest, sprawling stories. They're promising that not only is this a tour of the Marvel Universe, but stuff in here is going to matter. Uh, probably much like that, uh, what is it, Mutant X or whatever it was in uh, Mark Wade's little, little limited series of Avengers has certainly mattered. Oh, no, it's the Punisher. Anyway, um, the Mighty Valkyries, number one of five, our second limited series featuring the Valkyries. Where's her neck? Holy smokes. Anyway, no, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. Anyway, this is a showing that Jane Foster and uh, the new Valkyrie, the first Valkyrie, um, who is off trying to uh, regain the woman she loved. And, and where is she? We'll find out. Why they didn't just do a Mighty Valkyrie series. This is in the course of two years. This will be the third relaunch as they're, they're relaunching as limited series. So what, what what's going on here? I don't know. Is this supposed to be Tessa Thompson? We're not sure. Women of Marvel. This is an anthology book featuring the women of Marvel. Um, we've got a bunch of them on the cover here. Here's Jane Foster. She's going two for two this month. That's, that's nice. Ah, she's in the Avengers uh, Phoenix tournament. We get two. So Jane Foster everywhere. Jane Foster, new Punisher. That's all I'm saying. Um, we're getting, uh, Captain Peggy Carter. We're getting Morrow. Morrow. Okay. Um, storm -ish. Well, she's on the cover. We're not sure. Uh, <laughs> this, this, this frustrates me here. Comics legend Louis Simonson kicks things off with a must-read introduction. <laughs> I mean, how much you have comics legend Louis Simonson writing a comic? Like, uh, like, uh, like, comics legend Louis Simonson is a legend. Louis Simonson's awesome. Like, I don't want to read a Louis Simonson introduction. Give her, give her a story. Good lord, what are you doing? Here's Way of X. We've talked about this. Uh, another um, X Men book. This one featuring on Nightcrawler and. Um, and Serpents in the Garden, the Patchwork Man. So there we go. Squadron Supreme, Marvel Tales. Um, you know, fresh off their appearance in the Phoenix Tournament. Uh, oh, this is Roy Thomas, though. This is not new. These are some reprints, but uh, but that's fun. Dark Hawk, Heart of the Hawk. Um, I, I now, whenever I hear Hawk, now I'm going to think uh, Cobra Kai. That's just what's going to happen. So this is a one-shot um, of kind of an anthology story around Dark Hawk. Here's Black Panther 25. This is the final issue of Tanishi Coates uh, before we relaunch Black Panther. Oh, we've got some uh, Stormbreakers variant covers. Um, anyway, this is the final issue of his landmark run. T'Challa faces spaceships. 
Um, Guardians of the Galaxy, number 13. Brett Booth doing the cover, not the interior. So this, this is a bold new status quo, a new team. Uh, looks like Wiccan and Hulkling have kind of joined the team. We've got some leather jackets here. It's the 90s. We all love the 90s. Um, this is uh, Juan Fregi, uh, Figari, Sorry, is uh, on the art. And he is a new artist, new headquarters, new costumes, new teammates. They're heroes. It's going to be the ride of your life. Take off. Yeah. Oh, we got some variants here, too. Okay. Sporting that beard. It's the 90s all over again. Okay. And here's uh, here's some more. Anyway. Uh, Alien, number two. So uh, Philip Kennedy Johnson doing Superman and Alien. So, all right. Solved La Roca doing his best tracing work. Uh, Trials of Ultraman number two. Ultraman, you know, does not use the front door. Uh, Spider-Man, Spider's Shadow. It's a four-part limited series here. Chip Zdarsky revealing kind of a what-if style story with Pascal Ferry, which should look really incredible, um, of uh, Spidey does not break the symbiote and uh, he, he goes evil. What if Spider-Man was Venom, basically? Here's Silk number two, another title that was advertised a long time ago. I said would be coming back, and here it is. As well as, here's Black Knight, Curse of the Ebony Blade. Or I love these five-issue limited series. I, I love how they snuck one issue out of here. We, were, we did do six, and now we're down to five. Because <sighs> Anyway, um, Beta Ray Bill, number two of five. A lot of limited series this month. This is uh, Danny Warren Johnson, and undoubtedly this is going to be pretty pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to this uh, quite a bit. Uh, Carnage, Black, White, and Blood, number two, uh, which which features uh, black, white, and red inks, uh, red colors. American Chavez, made in the USA, number two of five. Uh, here, here she is. A little bit of a different look of America Chavez is a slowly but surely align America Chavez to the upcoming Disney Plus series, um, shattering into a million pieces. My goodness, they're not dealing with her uh, other planet and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, Thor and Loki, Double Trouble. This is uh, issue 204. This is Mariko Tamaki's one book that is going on at Marvel right now. Here's Avengers Mech Strike, number three of five. This is tying into Lego sets that are, uh, you put the Avengers in robot suits. It's always fun. Eternals, number four. This has been resolicited a few times. The Eternals, uh, 100 prime suspects. Who is the traitor of the Eternals? It's this horse. It's right there. It's, it's a horse. Um, Spider-Man, Curse of the Man-Thing. Here's Spider-Man, and he's fighting the Man-Thing. This is Steve Orlando's uh, first book with Marvel. People did not expect it would be a Man-Thing book, but all right. Um the, the hor horrifying man thing. Okay, so Amazing Spider-Man number 63. We're double shipping. We've got uh, we've got the Beetle. We've got um, got all kinds of things going on here. Robbie Thompson and Tombstone and uh, the romantic story of, of R&J. Star-crossed lovers, Romeo and Juliet, Randy and Janice. Okay, um, Amazing Spider-Man 64 and Kingpin shenanigans there. Um, no sign of... Uh, I mean, nothing against Frederico Vincentini, uh, Vincentini, but, I mean, where's Patrick Gleason? Anyway, Miles Morales, number 25, kicking off the clone saga, Miles Morales style. Okay. Uh, Non-stop Spider-Man, number two, one year delayed. Chris Backlow on art. Spider-Woman, number 11, back in the costume uh, that has a giant arrow pointing down at her, uh, her lady parts. Um, Black Cat. This is a nice looking cover, by the way. I, I I throw lots of sarcasm in this, but there's some comics in here I want to read. Somebody asked me, do I want to read any of these comics? Yeah, quite a few of them. This is a really nice cover. Um, I will say that. X-Men Legends number three. Yeah, here's what I'm talking about. Louis Simonson writing a comic and Walter Simonson doing the art. Uh, this is a great era of X-Factor, and I am all all in on this. This is great. It's it's Bacalypse when he was a homicidal maniac and not a dad. Uh, it's it's cool. So uh, the mysterious sentinel ship, ship, Cameron Hodge, apocalypse, apocalypse is truth. Yeah, all good, all good with this. That's going to be great. Modok head games four of four. Modok was fighting Nazis in the first issue. Not sure Modok is the poster child for for fighting Nazis, but you know whatever you want to do. Um, Patton Oswald uh, co-writing with Jordan Bloom. I wonder who's doing more of the writing. Hmm, mysteries. Iron Fist, Heart of the Dragon, number four of six. This is Larry Hama doing Iron Fist. 
Uh, there's been a lot of articles saying that this is going to pass the mantle of the Iron Fist on to somebody else. Uh, I don't think so, but, you know, it's an Iron Fist story. Sword, number five. Here we go. There's a the power pack villains making an appearance. That's nice. Uh, there's a murder, and it's a, connected to Cortez. What's going on with that? Excalibur, number 20. Oh, hey, here's, hey, she's got it back. Here's Captain Britain, and we got Psylocke in here, and Rogue. And they're all having uh, funny dance times with Spirit Lady. Um, there's something going on, unseen, unheard, and undetectable. Marauders, number 19. They're hanging out on some junk. This is this is what we think of Madripoor, apparently. They're, you know, they're just, they're just hanging out. Um, here's Wolverine. Wolverine fights vampires with Scott Eaton uh, doing the art. Children of the Atom, number two. You know, it actually feels like it's going to come out. The Children of the Atom uh, meet the Avengers. So when you when you when you want those sales, you throw in the Avengers. Uh, sure. Cable number ten continue to investigate the mystery of time displaced uh, babies and who's taking who. Dominoes in the book. Maybe Old Man Cable. The past is coming back to roost. There's a reckoning coming. Where were we going with this? X Force number nineteen. Um, Jean Grey's her hair's out of control. She needs some straightener. Um, she's got, uh, Quentin Choir, Bad Dreams is happening. New Mutants, we're done with the Wild Hunt. Uh, VDIL and Rob Rice continue. I'm just, I am glad to see Rob Rice continuing on the book. Uh, that's, that's good stuff. Let's, let's see it. Is that, is that Nanny in the background? Not, not quite sure. Anyway, uh, people make friends. Warlock makes friend. Wolfbane makes friend. Magic makes some enemies. That's the way it goes. Maestro is doing their Saddam Hussein statue toppling bit. Uh, as we all know, Maestro was, uh, you know, problematic for his views on the Confederacy. So they're pulling him down. Um, Immortal Hulk, he's all shriveled up. You know, the weakest there is, Al Ewing. Uh, we're heading toward issue 50, which which we're at least led to believe is the final issue of this series. So five issues away. We've drug him down. We've, we've gone through the Hulk mares. He had his wedding disrupted by the Joker. And now the Hulk is, is on his way back up again. Will he be able to face it? Fantastic Four, number 31. It's sound effects. They, uh, Mr. Fantastic and the thing um, soar away from meta sound effects um, by using the the uh, the Infinity Gate or the Forever Gate. And now here's Avengers 44. This is the final issue of the Phoenix Tournament. Um, enter the Phoenix Fiery Finale. This certainly looks like old Echo is our new Phoenix. Pretty sure, Echo. That's 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 where we got these little feathers. It's either Echo or Moonstar, but I haven't seen her in this bit, so I'm I'm going Echo. Echo is our new Phoenix. I was going with Moon Girl, but uh, Echo. Captain Marvel number twenty-eight. Captain Marvel has a weak spot. It's magic, so Captain Marvel pledges to become the new Sorceress Supreme. So Captain Marvel is learning some magic there. Uh, it, it, she needed to be more powerful for sure. Uh, Captain America, number 29. We're almost at the end of Tanishi Coates's run, uh, fighting the power elite and the red skull, uh, Savage Avengers. It's Spider-Man against Conan and the Rhino who's teamed up to the fun little book, uh, kind of just drifts along the background. Iron Man, number eight, Iron Man is lost. And so the focus turns to the person who could save the universe from Korvac, Hellcat with a little bit of help from, um, from Moon Dragon. So this is, uh, we're promised a big Hellcat story in Iron Man. Um, Black Widow, number six. She's, uh, she's sneaking around. Does she have her identity? She's been in a, through an emotional adventure of a fake family, and now she wants to do things differently. So she's traveling to San Francisco. What do, where do you go when your life's a mess? San Francisco. Thor, number 14. Uh, Don Blake is a little pissy. And uh, this is the final conclusion of this. Will Don Blake kill Thor? No, but um, but that's that's what we've got happening. It's it's Jarborn versus Mullinger, so that's that's going to be fun. Champions number six, the new creative team, Danny Lore uh, from Ironheart 2020. That was a terrible book. I, I we'll see. Um, anyway, the champions, the champions are time to fight dirty. They're they're fighting Kamala's Law. Outlawed is still a thing. Uh, Daredevil 29, uh, freed from King and Black, we get back to the storyline of Elektra as a new Daredevil, and she's uh, she's she, she's punching people. So old fate, old foes, new faces, lost loves, lots going on. Conan the Barbarian number 20, Conan fights a big tiger. 
Runaways number 25. Uh, this is uh, continuing the storyline of Wolverine trying to lure Molly to Krakoa. Uh, you always get a an old hairy guy trying to lure a kid away. It's always good stuff. Uh, Power Pack. Uh, this is the final issue of this limited series. The Wizard is uh it's got power pack trapped and bad things are going to happen how do you solve this we'll find out star wars high republic number four this this comic's got a lot of a lot of commentary on the old youtube um bounty hunters number 11 how is this title still going that is a, a mystery but um but there you go that title is uh darth vader number 11 um you know you're not you need to light up that that sword you're mr q um Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back Anniversary Covers. This is an issue of covers. That's great. Dr. Afra. Uh, she's found a little remember all and she's getting shot at. Um, and that's it. That's it for our comics. Got a bunch of trades, you know, aliens, cloak and dagger. That's fun. Um, 1961. We've got a bunch of little trades here. Nothing, I think, that really jumps out as being, you know, hugely missing. Like we haven't had it for a while, but some good stuff, some good older stuff we're putting in. That's good. Anyway, what of these comics are you interested in? Let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, uh, send me an email, follow me on social media. You'll find all that information in the description. Um, but most importantly, yeah, let me know what you're interested in, what you're buying uh, from the House of Ideas in April. Thanks for listening.